Synthesis of 5-hydroxymetabolites of indazole synthetic cannabinoids by Nicole Pianovich. The main psychoactive component of cannabis is the natural cannabinoid THC, and its therapeutic potential has led to the study of synthetic cannabinoids. Though they're structurally different, they both bind at the same receptors, making their effects on the body quite similar. Many synthetic cannabinoids have made it to the open market and have been the cause of many deaths around the world. Once ingested, these compounds are extensively metabolized. Common metabolites often include a hydroxylated version of the parent compound that can be more toxic than the parent compound themselves. Therefore, the studies on these metabolites are essential. Specifically, we are studying the 5-hydroxylated heterocyclic core of some synthetic cannabinoids. While the body can do this with ease, it's much more complicated to do in the lab. A seven-step synthetic synthesis was developed in order to build a library of these metabolites bearing that 5-hydroxy indazole scaffold. The key step is this visually and chemically beautiful reaction where the amine is converted into a diazonium salt. The salt is then decomposed with cuprous oxide to form a radical. The radical is then oxidized with hydrated cupric nitrate. The last three steps happen at room temperature and all in under a minute. This novel synthetic process gives us the ability to create many metabolite analogs for biological study.